Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the second Tech Tuesday video and we got a good one for you. This episode we are actually working with set power as you can see they were kind enough to send us their pt55 combo fridge freezer out to test and report back to you all so this big guy right here is a 58 quart dual zone fridge freezer and talk about space this thing is working really well for us so let's take a closer look so being a dual zone obviously has two sides a fridge and a freezer what we like about this unit though is it actually opens separately so as you can see right here we have the freezer side which we have it chock full right now of some delicious chicken patty melt and ice cream sandwiches and whatnot and then on this side the larger side we have set as the fridge right now pretty empty you can also see that it has some nice lighting in there to be able to see all your food and then i open this side the freezer side you can see also some good lighting and of course you can adjust whatever side you want so if you want the larger side to a freezer you can do that or you can have it as the fridge like we do and you can see your controls are right here currently we're sitting at nine degrees on the freezer side 34 degrees on the fridge side. We have it set battery protection mode to high. We actually have three settings there, high, middle, and low. And then the compressor speed, we have set the max right now, but you can set that to min, minimum, and you can use less power. And looking at this thing closely, you guys can't obviously feel it, but this right here, solid. So this is metal. This is a nice composite plastic right here. And this thing is a beast. It is a little tank. You can see we got a couple dents in it. We've been using this for about, I think two weeks, maybe three. We wanted to really give it a test, put it through its paces. Even right now, we just got done bouncing down forest roads and this thing is performing flawlessly. So the Set Power PT55 can be ran a few different ways. You can of course plug it into your standard house plug-in your 110 slash 120 standard house outlet and run it that way or for rv and van life or if you're living off grid you can plug it into 12 volt which will conserve some energy you know you won't use as much power because you won't need the inverter on to run it but what's really awesome is that this pt55 actually can cool down in 15 minutes so you can set that compressor to max setting and let that thing cool down and of course this thing being rugged and just a little beast it has some really good grab handles on each side for easy carry which is nice you can move it in and out of your rig whatever that is van truck car etc and it doesn't really take much effort and like i said this thing is pretty light so i actually have our freezer items in here right now and have our fridge items which is just some guac, as you guys probably have seen. But this thing is light. Very easy. Good for a workout. <laughs> it comes in at only 44 pounds. So like I said, really easy to move whenever you need to. And size-wise, this is a big boy, as you can tell. <laughs> so let me give you some dimensions here. So exterior-wise, it is 24.4 inches across this way right here. It is 22.6 inches this way, and this way, right here, is only 15.7 inches. So overall, for the just how big, big it is, it doesn't take up a ton of space, but it's definitely on the larger side, and I would recommend this for your RV, camper van, truck camper, car camper if you're going out for a long trip but really this is something even though it's only 44 pounds i'd say you'd want to put this either on a slide out tray or in the back of your van or on a shelf or cabinet that pulls out inside your rig and kind of leave it there as your main fridge or freezer 
or if you're like us and you have the space, you can use it as a backup, but it's pretty large. We could really, between our main fridge inside and this, probably go out for three weeks or so without having to go visit a grocery store if we planned accordingly. And while I'm sharing dimensions and opening these compartments, as you can see, these right here are really nice handles. Like, you see it right there? It won't close. Boom. Close. And that thing is not going anywhere. That is shut nice and tight. As these two little hooks right here, one right here, one on the other side, that go down, clamp right in. And this is sealed tight. And it does have a nice seal inside. So let's see if I can show you guys that. There's a seal right here. And then this also goes down inside the compartment too. So basically double layer of sealing that shut. So it stays nice and cold, uses less power once it gets set to that temperature, you know, and actually gets to that temperature because of those double seals. You don't have to worry about heat getting in or cool air coming out. And depending on what mode you have this set in, and obviously if you're using it off 12 volt or your standard AC power outlet, this only uses like 38 to 52-ish watts of power. And those numbers I just gave you directly correspond also, of course, with what compressor speed you have it set in. So like right now we have it in max. So it's gonna use up to that 52 or so watts of power, uh, and that'll be the max power it'll draw. But if we set it to min here, there we go. Gotta hold the button down. <laughs> and you'll see it switch to green on, and it's right here says min. We are now only going to use up to 38 watts max of power at any given time. And I mentioned that battery protection mode earlier, and that of course is right there. You see that on the left, you got the high, middle, and low. And you can change that. We have it set on high right now, but that's a pretty handy feature. So if you're worried about it draining your batteries, you can adjust this and change it out where it's going to you know cut out and cut back in uh, using power so you know for example right now we have it on high and if we were running this off 12 volts right now it would actually cut out at 11.1 volts and cut back in at 12.4 volts so if your house battery or portable power station whatever gets below that it'll shut this down so you don't consume more power so if you like this fridge but maybe you need a smaller one this PT line by Set Power actually does come in sizes ranging all the way down, I believe, to a PT30 as they call it, which is a 32 quart fridge freezer. On that PT30, the smallest one, you just won't have the two separate opening compartments like this. But if you do go up to, I believe, the PT35, which is 37 quarts, that one does have the two separate openings, which I really like. And I actually now, after using this for two to three weeks, would probably recommend if you were going to purchase a dual zone fridge freezer to have the separate sides. Just that way, when you're opening the top, you're not losing cool air out of either side. So if you needed something out of the fridge and you go to open it, but it's just one solid opening, you're also gonna be letting out cool air out of the freezer. So I think that's a really beneficial uh, thing about the PT line by Set Power. And I had mentioned earlier about using a slide. Well, Set Power actually does make their own fridge slide out tray for the PT line. So you could actually purchase that directly from them, as well as they do make an insulated cover if you wanna really make sure that this thing conserves the most amount of energy possible. You can get that insulated cover that goes around the whole unit and it just gives that little extra insulation for your unit. So Set Power was nice enough to share a discount code NB16. That's NB16 to save 16% on your order from them. You could purchase any of the PT line, whatever you're looking for. They have a lot of different options, but save a few bucks with that code. I told them about our Tech Tuesday talks and they are hooking you guys up. So that's pretty cool. So if you're looking to order, make sure to use that code. We will have a link down pinned in the comments and also in the description directly to this unit, to their website. So you can purchase it if you're interested or just check out their whole line. 
But like I said, I do, after two to three weeks of use, recommend getting one that opens on either side just to conserve a little bit of more power if that's your thing. Look at us right now. We're in the middle of the New Mexico forest and that is essential to us, conserving power. Even though we have a big robust system in our you know, rig, we got Starlink running right now, we got the fan on. We could run AC if we wanted, but it's pretty nice and cool up here on top of the mountain at about 8,500, I think, or so feet elevation. But we still are doing what we can to conserve power, so that's why I recommend those two separate openings for your fridge and for your freezer. So I personally would like to thank Set Power for letting us test this unit out, sharing it with you all, and getting you guys that discount code. This thing really is impressive. I actually am thoroughly loving it. So big, so much ice cream. As you guys probably could tell if you follow our channel, I like sweets on occasion. And this thing is an ice cream just a warehouse it's so big so if you guys could please give this video a like a big thumbs up it helps with the youtube algorithm i'd like to get these tech tuesday videos out there more preferably like twice a month and in order to do that these videos need to get viewed i need to get a response so we can get these companies to work with us like set power that way we can bring all this awesome tech to you guys get you guys some discount codes and plus do some giveaways. So please drop a comment down below. Let me know any tech that you are interested in, whether it's like portable power stations, fridges. I know this is our second fridge on Tech Tuesday or anything of the sort. I mean, there's some cool items out there, but I like to browse and stuff, but I miss a lot. So just share any down below and then maybe I can reach out to the companies and we can do a review or something of the sort and then do a giveaway and maybe you would win. So. Let's see. Thanks for watching everybody. We will catch you in the next one. We'll be back to a regular travel video, but stay tuned for more Tech Tuesday. See you later. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see